Hey, what's up? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Thanks for swinging by. Thanks for returning. Uh, much appreciated as always. Couple things I want to talk to you guys to about today. Uh, let's talk Rich Swan first of all. Is Rich Swan a credible world champion? Is he a believable world champion? What do you think about his title run? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I see a lot of chatter on social media that he's not a credible champion and that you know Moose deserved to be in that spot. This and this and this. I'm going to get to my thoughts on Rich Swan here shortly, but let me, let's me let talk about this storyline first of all. Impact rushes just about everything. Every possible match that they could like let simmer for a little bit or feud or, or whatever, we get it very quickly. Like Sometimes they, they build something where, oh, can't wait for the pay-per-view, and then the next week there's the match. You know what I mean? So they, they rush a lot of things. This storyline has not been rushed. It's been done to perfection, in my opinion. Because it's really kept us guessing. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know. People are just assuming Kenny Omega is going to win this match. We don't know that that's going to happen. We don't know. You know, there's something. I think there's a bigger picture here than than everything. Because this is a very historic match. They chose Rich Swan for a reason. And there's going to be some reasons that's behind the scenes. But they chose him for a reason. Because if, you know, I'm sure they also feel like he can get the best match out of Kenny Omega. Yes, Moose has been incredible. I love Moose. Everything he does has been gold. He probably deserves to be in a position like this. But there's probably a plan for Moose, so um, trust this storyline. Usually there's a lot of storylines I don't trust. Like, I trust this one to play out the way that it needs to play out. So let's talk Rich Swan first of all, and my thoughts. Rich Swan has delivered in every single thing he's done since he's come to Impact. Look at his matches versus Phoenix, Johnny Impact, Sammy Callahan, the gauntlet match that he was in where he was the standout, even though they had Tessa Blanchard you know, predictably win it. The match with Eric Young. Uh, his X Division stuff, you can you can go back and look at all of his matches. The dude has delivered. He did what he was supposed to do. He won the X Division Championship. Now he's working, moving up to the world title. He's never been shoved down our throats. He has just uh, delivered in every way. He's had great matches. He's had great feuds. Are there some things that I was like, oh, when he if he's the world champion, he needs to tighten this up in his presentation? Yes, of course I've said that. On the Cool Factor podcast, we said, if we were Rich Swan, we'd come back in our the best shape of our career after that injury and guess what he did okay so the guy's a little shorter than the average champion he's not a midget you know he's not he's not five foot tall you know he's five eight he's a little under average height you know for me he's delivered in every possible way he's one of the best wrestlers on the roster he's had a good match with everyone he's faced he's the common denominator yes you got to have a good dance partner a good opponent but rich swan has effing delivered and if you look back at all the pay-per-views he's always in those top two or three matches where people are like, oh, this was the match of the night. This was the best match. You know what I mean? Now he's in this position where all of a sudden people are behind Moose that weren't behind Moose <laughs> a little while ago. But now, you know, now he beats Moose and everyone's like, oh, that's not credible because Moose, you know, th listen to this. Dude, that, that was one of the best matches I've ever seen in Impact. Um, fucking love that match. Let me tell you. But I'm Team Rich Swan. I'm all about Rich Swan. He's our guy. He's our champion as Impact fans. He's representing the company going forward. He's the guy we got to get behind. So find a way to fix yourself <laughs> if you don't agree with that. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments. In all honesty, do what do you think about Rich Swan's reign as the champion? Uh, I've been fine with it. I'm Team Rich Swan. Second thing, Kylie Ray's returning to professional wrestling this June. Warrior Wrestling here in Illinois, up in Chicago. It was a match. Uh, it was a show I was planning on going to, so I was paying attention to the talents and talent announcements. I knew Kylie Ray was the women's champion. She beat Tessa Blanchard for it. So I'm thinking in my head, uh, what are they going to do with the Women's Championship? They announced last night that she is going to compete. She's going to defend the title. Is it going to be a one-off? Is she going to drop the title? I don't really know. Is she returning to wrestling full-time? What does it mean for her mental health? What does it mean for Impact? This is a good sign for her that we see her out in the public spotlight like this. She's been doing cameos. I watched a couple of them on our page. She seems to be doing a lot better. I would think Impact Wrestling would revisit bringing her back because... The division hasn't been the same since she's left. You can't tell me otherwise. It just hasn't. They haven't had that top baby face, and especially one who's who's likable and can compete. We didn't get that match with Deanna that was going to be an absolute show stealer. So Kylie Ray returning. Will she come back to Impact? I don't know. Speaking of the knockouts division, I'm being told we will get fresh faces this set of tapings. You know, at the Impact Plus show when I was, we were previewing, and I was like, dude, someone has to come out after Deanna beats ODB. Someone has to come out to challenge her going forward because they have nobody. Like, there has to be someone that, that rises from the smoke and, and just steps forward and challenges her. Um, I don't know who it's going to be, but it didn't happen at Impact Plus. She takes on Jazz next week. Someone has to pop up after that match. 
But I knew that I do know there will be fresh faces. I don't know if they're new knockouts. I don't know if they're coming from AEW. I don't know if they're just independent talents wrestling. You know, I, I don't know what it is. I gave props to the company when they announced that tag team match on the Impact Plus show. You know, they even ugh, marketing mm, bounce you to another platform. Say, go check out the website. The website wasn't updated <laughs> for several hours. And then the announcement was a lot cooler than the actual match. It was the same 12 girls that we see wrestle all the time. And we were assuming when that was announced and they said, you know, check the website for the participants that we were going to see some new faces. But the participants were the same people we always see, you know, so I was pretty upset with that. I was pretty bummed with it. But then I was told that we are going to see new fresh, fresh faces. Help is on the way. Again, I don't know what that means for the knockouts division, if they're new knockouts or what. I mean, we saw girls like Kylie Ray, um, not Kylie Ray, but uh, well, yeah, Kylie Ray, Bound for Glory. But we saw Deanna Perrazzo, Kimberly, Nevaeh, girls show up and not be a part of the knockouts rest roster, just wrestling without a contract. And we see that all the time in Impact. So we can't jump to conclusions whenever we see a new talent on the screen because a lot of the times they don't wrestle with contracts. So I don't know who's coming, how big or how small it's going to be, but someone has to step forward and, and um, challenge Deanna Perrazzo. They wrapped up the Britt Baker and, and uh, Thunder Rosa feud. You know, those would be two girls really interesting to step forward and challenge her. But we don't we don't know. Uh, but things are coming. Thanks for checking me out. As always, I'm your boy BQ and I'm out. Peace.